Bonjour! Hello everybody, this is going to be a French food haul. These are some things that I picked up at my local Intermarché or Intermarche. I think that's how it's pronounced correctly actually. And these are a few of the things that I'm quite fond of. Most of them are because I was introduced to them and the other two are just because I think they taste really good. And so the things I was introduced to are the um, cafe desserts, the coffee desserts on here. When I first came, these were, uh, we bought these and they were in the fridge and I realized, oh my goodness, they are like a favorite of mine. And so I carried on buying them because I just think they taste amazing and I even surprised myself by liking them. I didn't actually think I would like them, but when I tasted it, I was like, oh my goodness, I really like it. I think the first brand we got was a different, no sorry, I think the first uh, pack we got was a different brand. And the and I think it was Danon. <clears throat> but these ones are Paturage, if you can see there. I'm not sure if I'm butchering the name, but that's what it says there as the brand. And so that's something I was exposed to. Another thing is the Brie, the triangular shaped Brie, which is of the same brand as the uh, desserts. The third thing are those 3D ba Bugle crisps. They are amazing. They are like, they've got this nutty taste to it. I think that's actually the flavor of the crisps. They don't have a nutty taste to it. They are nut flavor. So I think it's like, um, is it monkey nut? I'm not sure exactly, but you can see the picture of the nut on the packaging. So you can just uh, tell me exactly what it is. I think it's peanut. I think it's peanut, yeah. And then the other thing are these Trezor uh, cereals. Now I was introduced to this, I don't typically buy kind of like junk food cereal, I usually have porridge or something uh, like uh, bran flakes or just something a bit more serious. But these are like quite a fun cereal and um, the kids eat them like for breakfast and I tried them one day and I literally loved them, love, love, love them. I think the British version is actually called Crave. So yeah, I kind of just recognized the image from all the adverts everywhere, like on Facebook, just crave, <laughs> crave adverts everywhere. Um, so I looked it up and I realized, and I, sorry, and I learned that actually Trezor is the French version of Crave. So those are the four things that I was introduced to. Trezor, the Bugle Crisps, Brie, even though I've tasted Brie before, and then of course the cafe, the coffee desserts here. And the other two things that I just knew that I would like are, you know, the whole wheat bread or baguette, which is quite long. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's so nice that you can literally finish the whole thing in a day. Um, I don't tend to do that, but it's possible. I could do it. And so that's that. They literally just give it to you in a piece of, they literally just give it to you in a little piece of paper and you just carry it. Um, so it's a good idea to go with, um, a shopping bag um, I literally just come back so I kind of held it in my hand and it's only like you know two minutes away so I put most of the stuff in my bag over there and then I put most of my stuff in my normal bag and then carried the bread and the cereal in my hands the other thing that I knew I would like but I think it's a French brand even though it says Paquito which sounds a bit Spanish um, this is orange juice. I prefer the one with uh, the pulp. This one is without pulp, so it says San Pulp? Pulp? <laughs> My French accent is just not getting better, is it? Um, yeah, so it's without pulp, um, but it's actually about 42 cents more expensive. So I just went for this one, which is 180, 1 euro and 80 cents for one liter. And so those are the two things that I just knew I would like. Um, the bread and the orange juice and the rest of the things are the things that I've kind of been exposed to over the past uh, four weeks and that is my mini haul um, over there is a packet of um, <laughs> something that I've already eaten which was just a croissant and the croissant tasted just like any other croissant that I've ever tasted um, from a, you know any other fresh croissant that I've ever tasted because into Antamache um, they don't bake I think they use the same kind of technique as um, any other supermarket would. You know, it's frozen and they just bake it in the oven. So it really just tasted the same. It's not. It's not like a, you know fresh bakery um, croissant, um, but it's 
still really good. Um, what else? Okay, so I'm going to tell you the prices of this stuff. You can let me know whether you think it's reasonable or not. And yeah, that will be it. So this is my receipt. The cereal cost two euros and 53 cents. That's the cereal over there, just to remind you. Uh, bugle crisps cost 83 cents. These are the bugle crisps. And how many grams are they? I think they're about 85 grams. The uh, brie cost one euro and 11 cents. That's the brie over there. And it is, how many grams is that? 200 grams. Uh, the coffee dessert, what? What? I always thought they were 94 cents. Yeah, so the coffee desserts cost one euro and two cents. The Paquito orange juice cost one euro eighty cents, and that is the orange juice. That is what I bought. Oh, uh, basically they didn't give me a receipt for the bread, but it cost I think uh, I paid. I remember I paid one fifty six. Oh, I can't remember. I think it cost about eighty nine cents, possibly more. Um, the usual, the one that's just without cereal in it is usually 89 cents I think because this one has like some cereal in it cereals I think it costs a little bit more but not many but not much more just by like a few cents I think everything came up to about just over eight euros that is an expensive cereal for the one kilo it cost about six or seven euros it's like very expensive but you know I just thought this is my last day here I'm just gonna have some cereal <laughs> and I, I really like it so yeah you can also get the hazelnut version of them as well and then some other flavors but yeah that has been my Antemarche haul and um, thank you so much for watching please do subscribe links will be below and I will see you in my next video bye